Hi and welcome to another quick tip for Elementor video. One of the things I love about working with Elementor is the ability to be able to create great looking layouts and then save different components out that you can use again and again and again. We can take that one step further by being able to take those over and export them and use them in other sites. So you can very quickly and easily create a library of great looking building block components that you can then use as a basis of building new sites and new pages and just tweak what you need. So in this video, I'm going to give you a practical demonstration of doing that. We're going to take a look at saving, exporting, importing into a different project and using those. So let's take a look at all that right now. Okay, so on my development site, I've gone through and created this strip that I want to use as a newsletter sign-up strip. Now, obviously, I can use that and save it out and use it in the project that I'm currently working on. But in this example, I'm going to save that out, export it, and then import it into another project and show you how easy it is to use it in a separate project entirely. So, we've got the element selected. You can see we've got the normal Elementor buttons at the top where we can do various different things. We want the option to save section. So we're going to click on that. That'll take us over to our library and ask us to give this particular template a name. So for this example, I'm going to call this main MailChimp signup strip. We're going to hit save and that'll save that out. You can see any of the other library items that I've got, any of the templates I've created will be listed at this point, which I can go through and I can preview, delete, export and insert into the project that I'm working on. For this example, we want to choose export. So I'm going to click export. That's going to save that out and drop that into a location on my computer where my downloads go to. Once I've done that, I can then import that into any other website that I'm using Elementor for. So I'm going to close this one down and I've got another project open in front of me. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to import that into the library so we can start using it. So the easiest way of doing that is come down to the Elementor element on the left hand side. We're going to come down to my library. That's going to go through and show us all of the library items or templates we currently have installed as part of this particular website. So all I need to do now is say import templates. Once I've done that, it opens up the option to choose the file and then import it. So I'm going to click choose file, find the file that I want to import. And you can see it's a JSON file. So everything is set up in there for us. It's named what I want it to be. I'm going to click open and then click import now. That will go through the process of importing it and you can see now we've got that imported into our library inside Elementor. So now let's go over to one of our pages and what we're going to do is we're going to come through and we're going to add that into the page itself. So we're going to come in, edit with Elementor as normal. Once we've done that and it's loaded in, we can simply scroll to the position we want to place this item. So we're going to come down to the bottom, add a new section or add a template. For this example, we're going to use add a template. Switch over to My Templates tab and you can see now we have the MailChimp sign-up strip in there. We can simply click Insert and that inserts it directly into the page and all of the settings that we set up in the previous website are also imported. So everything is set up and configured ready to go. If we want to make any changes, we can simply select the element we want to edit. So we might want to change the message. We can click on that. Opens up the widget on the left-hand side. We can now make any changes we want in there and those will be reflected in real time. So that's how easy it is to create templates in one website, save those out into a library of all your other templates, and then import those into any website you want that you're using Elementor or Elementor Pro in, and then you can carry on working with those in a separate project entirely. A great time saver and a really great feature from Elementor and Elementor Pro. Well, I hope you found this quick tip useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content and tips we add every single week. If you've got a tip or a problem or a question you'd like to see an answer to in a future video, please pop those in the comment section below and we can take a look at covering as many of those as possible in the future. Well, until next time, take care.